All right, guys, let's study some number properties and practice multiplying numbers written in scientific notation. Okay, so here we have four times one times 10 to the fourth. Now, multiplication is associative. That means we can take that parenthesis and move it here if we want. And that just gives us four, and we can get rid of these. That gives us four times one times 10 to the fourth. Which just gives us four times 10 to the fourth, right? Because four times one is just four. So we should get four times 10 to the fourth. Okay, same idea here. All we're gonna do is move the parentheses, get rid of these guys and move them there. And we have three times one is three. So it'll just be three times 10 to the first. Okay, you know, same idea, except it's not as simple. We'll just have four times seven times 10 to the first. So this will give us 28 times 10 to the first. Now, another way of saying that, right, because in scientific notation, we can't have – we want to have it as 2.8 times 10 to the something, right? So what we have to do is we have to say, all right, we're gonna move the decimal place to the left here one, but we're gonna make, to compensate, we're gonna make the 10 go to the power of two. So we'll have 2.8 times 10 to the power of two. Same idea here. I think let's figure this out. It'll be good for more practice. This is just, you gotta just do a bunch of these and then once you do them, you'll, you won't have a problem. So eight times four times 10 to the fifth. This gives you 32 times 10 to the fifth. Okay, but we don't want 32, we want 3.2. So let's move this over one and add one to this. So what do you guys think? should be 3.2 times 10 to the sixth. Okay, you're probably getting the hang of this, so I'll skip the first step and write 21 times 10 to the first, but then we'll go ahead, move the decimal place over one here, add one here, and we'll get 2.1 times 10 squared. It's getting fun, right? Getting the hang of it, eight times six, so 48 times 10 to the third. Move this over one, add one, and we will get 4.8 times 10 to the fourth. Now, you know what's fun is anticipating how the problems can change. I think that's a good thing for you guys to practice doing. So what might happen is we might end up with a three digit number here, number here and then we're gonna have to add it over you know, a couple of times, we're gonna to have to add two to the exponent instead. So far, we've only had to add zero or one. So as we remember, before I started blathering, uh, 4.8 times 10 to the fourth was the answer that we got. Maybe we'll get a three digit number in the level two section. Uh, we'll see. So we have 45 times 10 to the third. This will give us 4.5 times 10 to the fourth. Okay, this will give us 25 times 10 to the fourth. Move that over, plus one, so we'll have 2.5 times 10 to the fifth. Be 27, nine times three is 27, times 10 to the fifth. So we go ahead, we move this over, we add one, we get 2.7 times 10 to the Six. All right, and we have seven times five. I'll write out the steps. Times 10 to the fifth. But that's gonna be 35 times 10 to the fifth, which will give us, move this over, add one. We'll get 3.5 times 10 to the sixth. Let's see what the level twos are like.
All right. So this one is still a simple, this is a one digit. So it'll just be two times 10 to the 10th. Nothing's going to change there. Wonder if they're going to give us a three digit. Okay. We're at level two. So let's like, you know, let's practice skipping some steps. That's 45, but we want it to be 4.5. So we have to move it over one. So we have to add one. So it'll be 4.5 times 10 to the 11th. Okay, this will be 12 times 10 to the 6th, so that'll be 1.2 times 10 to the 7th. Okay, 25 times 10 to the 9th, so that'll be 2.5 times 10 to the 10th. Okay, I think you guys get the hang of it. This is a, you know, you just got, you just, this is one of these, just practice it until, you know, it all makes sense. Um, but yeah, until next time, have a great day.